Hey everyone, welcome back to another Saturday morning clean with me or welcome if you're new. I'm Julianne. I am a mom of four and on my channel you will find tons of cleaning motivation and some decor inspiration. First, we are going to start out with a coffee because we had a lot that we needed to get done today. My house is pretty messy. So first, we are going to be starting out in my son's room and it is trash today. So first we are going to get everything picked up and actually we're taking away the electronics. That's the first thing that we're doing. The kids knew that if I had to come in and clean their rooms that some things would be taken away and they were okay with that. They understood. But let's go ahead and get into it and if you do enjoy cleaning motivation make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So whenever my house gets out of control, the first thing I'm going to do is grab a garbage bag and pick up all the garbage and then I'm going to sit down and kind of put things in piles depending on where they go. Like if they go together clothing, then I'm going to put clothing together, but I am doing some donations so you'll see me put clothing in two different piles, things that we're keeping and things that I'm going to be giving away. Owen's room isn't too hard to clean up just because he doesn't have a ton of toys but let me know in the comments what you guys are buying your little boys for Christmas because I am struggling. He is going to turn 8 in December and I feel like we're just in that in between stage of sometimes he plays with toys more like Legos and things like that so I did grab him a few Lego kits but he also doesn't like like the extremely hard ones he will just give up and it'll sit there forever um books and he wanted a camera so i did get him one of the i think they're the how do you say it fuji cameras he wanted one that could print pictures so i grabbed him one of those but other than that i'm completely lost i feel like the girls are so easy to buy for but i always struggle with owen ever since he's hit like over five going through his clothing just getting rid of the things that no longer fit I have a friend that has a little boy so I'm going to be giving them to her but I know with the holidays coming up I really want to get the kids toys and clothing decluttered before we bring more stuff into the house Hey everyone, today's video is sponsored by Pesty and I'm so excited to share their product with you today. Pesty is a DIY pest control company with a mission to provide pro-grade products for an affordable price. Pesty only sends pro-grade products that work insanely well. They're actually the same products that the pros use. We've been doing our own pest control for quite a while now and struggled to find a product we loved, but Pesty's has been amazing, catered to our needs, and they're one for the cost of a normal pest control company. You can cancel any time and there's never any contracts. Say hello to savings and bye-bye to the bugs. It comes with everything you need to apply, even a cool reusable electronic sprayer. Applying Pesty is super easy, anyone can do it, and it only takes about 10 minutes. It's also pet and kid friendly, which is super important to me. When you buy Pesty products, it's optimized to your exact locations, bugs, and climate. You always get the most effective products delivered right at the perfect time. Plus, the specific chemicals are rotated so the bugs don't build up tolerance, which makes it more effective over time. Pesties only sends what you need and gives instructions on how to apply so that you can minimize the effect on the environment in honeybees. Pest control coming every other month and honestly it just got too expensive and we were still seeing spiders. We decided to cancel and finally after trying many different products, Pesty is our go-to do-it-yourself pest control. Pesty has a 100% money back satisfaction guarantee so they'll do whatever it takes to get rid of the bugs and make you happy. I highly suggest checking out Pesty if you're struggling with insects or if you are paying too much for a pest control company. I'll have all their info in the description box below Hello, and thank you so much to Pesty for sponsoring today's video.
Now I have some laundry that I need to go through. I'm sure that there's a few things in here that I also need to donate. Today, while I was scrolling TikTok, I just have to tell you guys about this. I came across this news station talking about this influencer who has hundreds of thousands of followers on TikTok. I actually follow her. I really enjoyed her content. Her name was, I want to say Marlene. She had a little boy and a little girl. And I would say that her life was kind of, I don't want to say unrealistic, but um, like she did a ton of shopping. Her house was never a mess and I remember thinking to myself that she goes shopping all the time But she never has things in her house. Like where does she put everything? But they were talking about how she was arrested because she was scanning fake barcodes at Target Walked out with the stuff I guess she was also filming herself and then she was filming herself putting her Target bags into her car and they got a picture of her put her up on the news or true crime or something like that and obviously when you have hundreds of thousands of followers somebody's gonna recognize you but i was just so shocked because the life that she portrayed on tiktok really just made it look like that she pretty much like had like a perfect life like um i remember when she first started out like her husband would supposedly like leave a bunch of money for her to go out and like take the kids out to do stuff but it's just a reminder that not everybody's life is what they are showing on social media. And honestly, I was just shocked. I would have never thought that. And I've totally heard the phrase, fake it till you make it. And some people, I guess that really works out for them. Uh, but I mean, she already had two, 300,000 followers on TikTok. So I definitely feel like she had already made it. I did wash Owen's bedding, so we're just going to get his bed made and then I do need to wipe down his dresser and vacuum. Let me know in the comments if you are ready for Thanksgiving. I can't believe this year is already almost over. It has went just so fast and I feel like the more busier everything gets, the older my kids get, that the years just go by so quickly and I can't believe that we're already almost in December and then we will be in the new year.
pretty much done with Owen's room and then we're gonna get out into the kitchen surprisingly my kitchen is not terrible that's because we had had people in and out of our house the entire week so it did have to say somewhat clean so I do just need to get started with the dishes but then we had somebody later on come to do something in our kitchen so we had to remove all of like the decor in the kitchen you all will see me putting that back have a few things I'm going to be washing by hand and then I'm going to need to get the sink cleaned out. quickly going to wipe down these countertops and then I was getting ready to vacuum I realized my vacuum was dead I actually plugged it in but my um, cord for my Dyson was not plugged into the wall so I have to get out my broom and sometimes that just does a better job anyways than my Dyson does She did not know what to think about the broom sometimes when I bring the vacuum out he gets a little bit crazy and he'll bark and he'll try to bite at it but he wasn't sure about the broom <laughs> The living room and kitchen are looking pretty good, but now it's going to be a later on in the evening. I had been making dinner and then I needed to get everything put back together. I actually bought these little ornaments from Hobby Lobby for the little girls to put on their Christmas tree.
I got all of the Christmas decor put away and waking up to a clean kitchen is probably one of my favorite things. Now we're going to get into this bedroom, which is super messy. Not one of my favorite things. Um, but like I said, the kids did know that they had consequences because I had to pick these rooms up. So we are just going to get into it today. And honestly, I'm just throwing things in piles. I feel like this makes it a little bit easier. I do need to go through the girls clothing because I was barely able to shut their dresser drawers because they had so much stuff in there. weekend I think I'm going to try to go through the little girls toys they definitely have more than they need and with Christmas just right around the corner I know that they are going to be getting more stuff so and probably not next week's video but maybe the video after that I will have like a toy declutter luckily the older two kids their rooms don't really need to have much of that done but like I said the little girls have a ton of stuff got all the toys picked up and now we are going to fix the little girl's tree um just a little bit Sophie likes to get in here and move things around on the Christmas tree she also enjoys doing that on Owen's Christmas tree too she likes to rip the ornaments off of his Christmas tree <laughs> We're gonna go through the little girl's clothing and I'm shocked by the amount of clothing that fits into these drawers.
definitely try to not spend too much time on folding the clothing and putting it away and doing all that just because one the kids are going to get in here at some point and mess it up and it's just going into their dresser so it does not need to be perfect I'm going through soapy stuff but I don't know what it is about the little clothes that always make me feel some type of way they make me feel a little bit emotional like getting rid of things that I pick up and I look at them I can remember her being you know like one years old and just learning how to walk and how I loved some of the outfits on her and it's always so hard to get rid of those Alright, so we're finished with the clothes and you can see here on camis, we still have some work that we need to do but luckily we got rid of a lot of stuff and then we do need to make the little girls a bed and a vacuum and we will pretty much be done in here.
that is pretty much it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, make sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button for more cleaning motivation. Thank you so much for being here today and I will see you in the next one. Bye!